Hi, I'm Kamil, and today I want to show you a Q-Wireless Cumax antenna dedicated to Teltonica Root X11. Qmax for X11 is directional or sector device. It consists of two 90 degrees LTE antennas, two omnidirectional dual band Wi Fi antennas, and GPS and Bluetooth antennas. In this scenario, you can benefit from high gain LTE sector antennas to connect to the nearest signal tower and develop a stable Wi Fi connection to all electronics around you. Thanks to our unique design, where you can place the router inside the enclosure, we were able to reduce the length of coaxial cable and reduce the number of antenna connectors. As a result, you get a better signal strength and therefore a faster data transfer. It is the first choice for fixed installations in industrial environment. Now let's assemble the antenna. Take up the top lid and put it aside. As a first step, we are going to Install the RJ45 cables. You just have to unscrew this part, take it out, put it in the pre drilled hole, and screw it back in the place. Once it is done, it's time to connect the root X11 into the antenna. As you can see, all the cables are labeled, so you just have to match the cable to the port on the router. At this point, you have to rearrange your position once again, put that part up and connect the Wi-Fi cables. After that, you connect the Ethernet cable to LAN 1 port to make sure the router is powered via PoE standard. In the next step, you have to put the radio into the mounting bracket. Now it's time to assemble the enclosure back and screw the four included screws. In the final part, don't forget to install the Wi-Fi antennas at the bottom of the enclosure. Your antenna is ready to be used. Now let's take and put it on the mast. Let's go! Let's start with screwing the mounting bracket onto the enclosure. Please keep in mind it's important to use the electrical wire for the grounding in the top right corner of the mounting bracket. Your antenna was installed on the mast and is ready to be used. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!